So, today we have a goal. We're gonna get LR Vegito Blue and LR Gogeta Blue transformed together on the same rotation. Now, a lot of people may think that it's actually difficult. However, it's probably not gonna be that bad. Um, and I'll go ahead and explain it right here. Let me switch over to just my browser real quick and I'll let y'all know why it is actually gonna be that bad. So, we know Vegito. He has a turn five transformation condition from 70% HP or less starting from the fifth turn from the start of turn, right? And a lot of people are like, oh no, Gogeta is a turn four transformation and he heals you. And you're like, because of this 54% heal, he's just going to get rid of Vigil Blue's transformation. That's not the case though, because again, this is Gogeta's fourth turn from his first appearance, right? It's his fourth turn specifically. So what's going to happen is if we have a situation such as this, where both of them are on the same rotation, they're going to be on turn one together, turn three together, then after turn five together. So what happens there is if you're under the 70% HP threshold, you will actually be able to transform with blue Vegito. Then after that, you transform into blue Gogeta. Then you heal after you already transform with Vegito. That way you're able to get them together. The only time that you won't be able to like have that really work is if you have Gogeta floated off to a rotation with Vegito and then that ends up being turn four and then you kind of have to transform with Gogeta because he loses that guard um, on turn four specifically, right? But that's really it. If you get them on the same rotation like this, things actually do end up working out. So we're going into the Frieza red zone. This Frieza red zone should give us a lot of time to get set up and let me play these intros too. All right, so the goal is to fall under 50% HP. So we're going to go ahead and try to aim for that. Um, this first phase doesn't really do a lot of damage, I would say, but I'm going to go ahead and put Gogeta in slot one just because he'll be more prone to taking damage right there in that first slot. Um, and that should be perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and grab this. We'll make sure we get Blue Vegito right here, some stacks as well. And even in the middle, he does get some extra stacks because he will be attacking more often. So that's going to be good. Future Gohan, I think I do want him to get at least 18 key so that he could get one of his additionals, right? Unfortunately, we missed some of the potential additionals we could have gotten from 22 key because he does get actually 20 key. He does get a guaranteed additional super, but that's fine. He still has one additional that he'll get. Just so we could start building up a little bit more, right? So, yeah, again, the thing about Gogeta is that he does stack defense on his 18 key as well. And over time, he will be getting more and more powerful. So that's a good thing. Um, these additional supers don't really do anything for him stacking-wise. It's just going to allow him to do more damage. Which, he did already take out Sorbet, huh? From what I'm seeing. So, yeah, again, Gogeta Blue could do tons and tons of damage right there, right? Vegito Blue, not really a damage either like that, right? I mean, yeah, 5.2 mil. Again, when he's not facing a Realm of Gods enemy, this unit does get less stats and doesn't get the super effective against all types, right? I'm going to try and see if we can get the fusion in potentially two different events or at least multiple different situations. Maybe I'll go into the Beerus Red Zone after this and we'll see if we can get the transformation in the Beerus Red Zone. Well, I guess Gogeta isn't really the greatest in the Beerus Red Zone, huh? Because of the fact that... Uh, <laughs> When it comes to Gogeta Blue, he's the dodge character and Beerus becomes STR, so that could be very unfortunate. I guess what we'll want to do then is maybe we can go into Fusion Zamasu. The Fusion Zamasu red zone is definitely a stage where I think we could see this happen too. So we'll go ahead and again, yeah, this time let me try and avoid doing a lot of damage here with you. We'll get this tech Vegeta Blue this and then I actually want you to probably finish things off and then start building up your damage reduction a little um the thing about goku and vegeta is that they want to receive four attacks for them to use the revive or again if we are under 50 percent hp i would like to get like that really really good 80 percent support potentially but we'll have to wait and see how that actually ends up working so okay what hmm this is this i'm trying to think of how we should get under 70 percent 
Worst case scenario, I might not even be able to get under 70% in turn 5, which would definitely really suck. Because again, the only issue about this fight is that the first phase doesn't really do a lot of damage, but... Next turn, I could probably just put Gogeta Slump 1, and as long as he does get super attacked, we'll be able to get the 70% HP restriction, and then from there we'll be good. We just have to like hover like a little under 70% HP, like 50 to 70% HP would be ideal. Okay, so they only got one super attack, which is fine. Um, would like to get more, but that's okay. In fact, we do have Boma's intro as well, but I'm just going to talk over Boma's intro, right? It's not, it's not as right. You know, Boma's cool though, right? Boma is cool, that's for sure, but I think y'all get my point. All right, so, yeah, again, we'll probably just keep Gogeta right there in slot one. Let's try not to heal, I guess. Well, to be fair, it's not like we're doing... We're at full HP anyways, right? So <laughs> let's try to at least avoid same type ores is what I'm going to just say in general from here. And then Boma, I do want, well, can't really avoid the same type orbs there, but again, doesn't really matter because we're at full HP anyways. So that's fine. All right. Yes. Okay. An instant super attack is good. This should do some good damage, actually. Yeah. There we go. Uh, again, Gogeta in slot one, right? He's not a slot one character. You don't put Gogeta in slot one like that, right? That's a dangerous play. But in order to get the fusion rotation, that's what I actually wanted to go ahead and do right there is put um, Gogeta right there in that first slot. Oh, I had my mic back accident. So now we should be pretty set to get the fusion, which is going to be really, really sick. And again, we could even start getting the support from the Goku and Vegeta GT, right? Which is also going to be a good thing to see, right? I might, as, I might just push them out, honestly. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, wow, my mic just like really peaked right there. Hello? Let me turn my mic down a little. Um, but I don't know. It, sh it should be fine like this. I, my mic just like really peaked right there. If, it, if that's in the video, I'm so sorry. Uh, sometimes my mic just like, just like goes, whoa, right? it goes crazy. But um, I turned it down a little bit on my end. So hopefully it doesn't peak like that again. I, I saw it. It might have popped in the video. If it did, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I apologize for bursting your ears. But again, these guys are getting more attack stacks. Because, again, I put them in slot 2, so that's going to be nice. Then we have Bulma support active as well, so things are going to start looking pretty good from here. Hopefully, the Resurrection F theme is not already playing. But we... Okay, no. Actually, we should be okay for the most part still. It did freeze, this reason doesn't do bad damage. To be fair, Bulma is, again, on a 150% leader here. But still, that Frieza could definitely do some dangerous damage here. Uh, that's actually future goal on here in this rotation, huh? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Vegito the attacks here. I actually do want to heal some someone with same type orbs. Just because we're so low in HP, right? We're under 40% uh, HP there. And again, all we have to worry about is being under the 70% HP threshold. Vegito Blue is guaranteed dodging in this turn. So we're literally ha like deserve worry here. We should be able to finish the fight off here, I'm thinking. I think we should have a really good shot at finishing the fight here. Uh, especially with Tech BB, he has full crit. Uh, this guy is like a full crit character for sure. That's what I did give him previously. So he's just cooking here. I would like to get another defensive stack with the Vegito, but I mean, if this guy finishes the job, I can't really say anything about it. Yeah, <laughs> right. So that that's that, right? I think the yeah, there's the no the, the resurrection F team actually doesn't play here. Okay, that's good. So here we are, blue Vegito and blue Gogeta on the same rotation. The only issue is next turn. Because if I... Yeah, see, the issue is next turn. Because this that's going to be this character's turn five. Mm, okay, that, that could be an issue. But if we do a lot of damage here, we should be fine. So again, let's not worry about it for now. Let's go ahead and fuse into Vegito, and then we'll fuse into Gogeta. Well, see, let's use this standby skill first. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and... Hmm. Well, if I use the standby skill here, like, he dies, right? Unless, unless they take enough damage where he doesn't die. Let's see, let's see. Let's use this here. I'm going to skip this animation here. That should be fine. We should get a ton of damage here. So let me go ahead and fuse into Vegito.
Here we go, Vegito Blue, and then we go ahead and get Gogeta Blue right there. And actually, I might use his Active Skill first. Yeah, we're gonna use his Active Skill here. And then after that, we'll get Gogeta out. Because if I heal above 50% HP, I can't use the Active Skill anymore, right? And I wanna get the Guarantee Dodge. Nice. So we're getting 80% attack support here. Vegito and Gogeta do share every single link except for Vegito. He has uh, the Power Bristle by God link, while Gogeta does have Prepare for Battle, right? Uh, which he is actually getting here. So Gogeta right here in the second slot is going to be looking very good. Vegito right here. The only difference is that my Vegito is one dupe, my Gogeta is 55%. So take that as well. We're back at full HP. Um, well, we're about to be back at full HP for sure. Gogeta does want one Rainbow Key Sphere, but that's really it from there. And we should be able to... I think, actually, Vegeta might straight up live a normal attack from this freezer, which sounds insane, but, like, 720k on a normal. I'm not sure if he'll do that much. Well, he's at 63k defense. Okay, never mind. He's probably gonna he's probably gonna get one shot. Probably. Uh, especially with Frieza instantly supering, but there's a the guaranteed dodge. And we are looking very, very good. Keep in mind, Vegito does also get a 50% defense buff right there. So that's an 11 million super effective against all types attack stat. Uh, you know, I'm going to bring up the calculator and we're going to go ahead and add the damage, right? So that's 11 million plus uh, right here, a 7.6 million attack stat, right? Again, because people, I think, still downplay a little bit of Vegito's damage, what he could do right here. But especially on his active skill turn, you can look really, really insane. So that's an 8.2 million attack stat, right? Um, so things are already looking very, very nice so far. Let me also bring up the Frieza events. That's an additional normal. So that's, again, 500k. Okay, well, <laughs> you didn't do all the super attacks I would like, but that's still a 26.8 million attack stat. Super effective against all types, which is, I think, oh, good. With guaranteed dodge, that's good. Now, obviously, Gogeta here is going to do more damage, right? Because <laughs> uh, he's going to get the guaranteed additional supers. I missed the first attack set, though, unfortunately. Um, but here's the additional. I think it was... Was it not 13 mil? Am I crazy? Or was it... No, it was 16.2 mil, right? Wasn't it 16 mil? Well, let's say it was 16 mil plus the 10 mil right here. And then we're getting another guaranteed additional super attack right here. So that is basically 11.8 mil so in total this dude is doing 37.8 million damage right here with all of his attack stats combined so that is good damage with a 70 percent chance dodge here he's going to start building up the crit chance and then now he has the multiple turn raise for his attack right um yeah because he has the massively raise attack for four turns which is really important to consider all right this might kill maybe it doesn't it does kill okay uh, I hope this crits. We'll see. Sama <laughs> You know what we can get here, actually? The Vegito Blue Active Skill is something we're able to use here, uh, which we will definitely take advantage of. So let me go ahead and use this Active Skill in slot 3 here with Vegito Blue. And then we'll put him in someone for the Guarantee Dodge, and he definitely finishes this fight off.
that's pretty sweet and then we'll go ahead and put him in slot one here we'll just grab these same type of orbs and then let's make sure we get bulma's passive so that next turn we're gonna get a lot of support and we'll get future gohan's domain oh no i'm so scared dodge guarantee dodge tech vb's so good still so. <laughs> um i feel like people really felt down on the blue fusions because of the zabasu event right but they're still good in a lot of other places of difficult content which is nice to see so now we're gonna get future gohan's domain here we'll use gogeta blue's active skill and we should be pretty good ah uh, wait okay this is where they play the resurrection f frieza th song right here okay um let me go ahead and make sure we get gogeta's active skill and i'll probably skip out on future gohan's because it's just we're gonna do too much damage here so let me go ahead and make sure i increase the sound here and then we'll play gogeta's right now That's pretty sick. So that's the target skill mechanic. Not that big of a deal. Uh, Vegito should not finish the job here. No, I, I, funny enough, even though like we have the future going domain, I don't think Vegeta will finish the job necessarily. And then we should be able to get attack sets with both of them. So this is going to be how they're looking like without support here. Again, it'll be good just to show here. So Vegeta right here is doing a 9.9 .9 million attack set still, huh? Okay. I'll take that right again for 69% for again, this guy is six months old and super effective, right? Definitely not like crazy though, right? I I, I feel Vegito could have done more damage, right? I, I, for sure, especially like again we're seeing Gogeta Blue here, and obviously Gogeta Blue is going to be a better character since he's the anniversary unit. But it would have been nice to see a little bit more. But okay, there's 7.4 mil right there, so yes, yeah, still 24.2 million attacks. That right? If he got the other additional, his attacks that could like overall could have been really good. And there's additional normal that did like 0.5, 45k, right? All right, so Gogeta Blue here is at 15 million attack stat, which is very strong right there. I'll definitely take that super effective 15 mil just for 55%. Then here is obviously the 60% chance to he has there. Keep in mind, Gogeta does build up 20% chance to with each evasion he does do within the turn. And this rotation just absolutely cooks, right? And then here's the last super attack for 11.7 million. And again, comparing the two, Gogeta is doing 37.6 mil damage in total with the crits and super effective. So, I mean, we obviously we know Gogeta is the better unit, but I just wanted to show you all as a comparison. Vegito is going to be the slot one character because the thing about Gogeta is you see his defense is not as high as Vegito's will be start of turn necessarily because Vegito does get the 30% no the 50% damage reduction before he attacks then he still has 20% after he attacks plus a high chance to dodge as the first attacker right so overall he's going to be more consistent defensively in slot one and he also gives all super class allies 50% defense for the turn so that's why Vegito will be in the slot one slot well as Gogeta does get a majority of his defense on super attack 100% attacking defense on super then every 18 key does does give him another 50% attack and defense multiplicative um so you could have to tell the difference it's really the damage reduction that allows vegeto blue to sit more safe in slot one like i, I i've actually seen a lot of discussion about i i don't agree with this take where people are saying vegeto is better than gogeta but i would say that vegeto would likely be a better option to sit in slot one compared to gogeta just because he has the reduction before he attacks but that's like the only thing i could see besides leader skill i guess right but um in terms of their performance in game gogeta blue is obviously just better he's healing he's just doing much more damage he has the critical hits built in his target skill mechanic is just more honestly it's just more powerful than what vegeto's mechanic is right even though vegeto can get that that first turn but um, I'm going to hop in still into Fusion Zamasu. We're going to see if we can get that active skill, like, you know, double rotation there. And we'll see what we could do. Okay, let's see what we could do for the Fusion Zamasu fight. Again, I think that this will be able to go hopefully smoothly. Uh, not 100%, but I think we should be good. I, you know, I am really tempted to actually put these guys in slot 2. And the only reason for that is because I, I, I want to be greedy and get more stacks in for attack with him. 
Um, but the smart move is definitely to do this. So we're going to go ahead and just grab this right here. It, it will still be fine, right? So they're going to go ahead and grab these orbs. Gogeta will take some damage from the Aween. So will 17. The goal is to fall under 70% HP by the fifth turn, which Fusion Zamasu is like a shorter fight with really strong like damage output so i could i could have put him in slot uh too huh looking at that given that he did two normals but it is definitely better to be safe than sorry because of the fact that um with zamasu right if he just supered gogeta instantly we would have been in a very dangerous spot right away and i kind of don't want that because of how his aoe's could really affect bulma and future gohan next turn right so yeah 74k is fine 70 is actually a good option here so we are close to falling under 70%. Come on, Gogeta Blue, actually, um, when he's transformed, he would be able to nullify and counter any Blast Supers. Unfortunately, that isn't going to really work here in this first phase, right? So that is the only thing that's a little unfortunate, but that's really it. So Gogeta got one stack of his defense here, then he's getting all the additional supers. So even if Zamasu super attacks this guy, I think it should be just good. And on this team, Gogeta could pretty much take over the slot that Sword of Hope Trunks usually had in this team, right? Like usually a, a team that I used like to run in, run in here whenever I just wanted to use VB was having Sword of Hope Trunks in Gogeta's place. But Gogeta here is just going to be a better character to run here in his place specifically. Right, especially if you're trying to get Vegito Blue out. But you just want a safe, like, physical character to run that'll help carry the damage throughout this run. And that's why he's here specifically. Alright, Sweet 17 did some decent damage right there. And now he should be fully built up. So that's good. We'll go ahead and we'll keep Bulma. Yeah, so... I kind of don't want to grab all these STR herbs, but I'm kind of forced to do so, aren't I? That is unfortunate. See, I would love to do this, but it's, uh, I mean, I could, I could, I could, if I really wanted to, but I think that's a little too dangerous. So, see, cause I don't want to do this cause I want to get the defense stack, right? We're just going to have to do that. It is what it is. I wish I could bring down the STR orb. That won't work. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and. Grab this with Poma. Poma's going to three key. Then future go on can just grab these right here. Eh, actually, I will give him these. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. Again, Vegeta Blue will be the safest option here in slot one because of the 50% chance of dodge. And then doing less damage is kind of, I think, more beneficial to me in this situation here. I do need to dodge the super though, or else I think we might just straight up die. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Um that's the thing with like getting 17 in the first rotation is that 17 won't have his full reduction and can actually take a lot of damage which we saw last turn he took probably about like what uh, like 150k ish range of damage right in total probably a little extra but um actually he, i think he did take more than like closer to like 200k damage right which definitely matters future gohan especially at 55 percent that dude before he builds up he will get hit relatively hard against these aoe's it's only after he like starts getting some of these attacks off that he'll be fine and of course he does get 20 percent reduction after he actually does attack so that's how that is actually going to end up working out um but yeah that's good that's good that's good for sure okay future go on doing his thing he obviously has four reduction not that we're really worried but he should be cooking here sweet and that's that he's doing zero damage right because again my future gohan doesn't have dupes in him so he's not really going to do damage like that so theoretically we could run gogeta in slot one but again let's just not do any risk like that i can get six orbs with the s2 orbs here so i think i'm going to give gogeta these physical orbs just so he heals more all right i think he'll get more healing here even if it's slightly more healing. And then let me grab these six, actually. Well, I'll grab these six, actually. That should be fine. Okay. Um, there is the not dodge, but that's fine. Gogeta eating this AOE a little better than God Goku. You're not dodging, of course. <sighs> Please dodge. 
There you go. Okay. <laughs> it's getting a little it got a, it's getting a little close there to be honest with this setup right here. Um we're getting a little unlucky with them not dodging, right? But it is what it is. We're still we're still making it through there. So we should be able to get Yeah, we should be able to get the active skill with um what's his face next turn. I might actually keep 17 on rotation, which sounds a little crazy. But the thing with go like with how the next rotation after that's gonna be is it's Vegeta won't be able to get his guard anymore once we get to the next phase because again what's uh I said did I say Vegito? Well yeah, well how to explain it. The Goku and Vegeta portion of the card will not guard anymore. Well actually did we just finish the fight? God Goku might just finish this first phase here. I think God Goku finishes the job here. Yeah, he's doing seven mil and he's gonna do double those for sure. Okay, so we probably. Hmm. I did push Future Gohan off. We have 17. We should be fine still. I would have liked to grab those Ejo orbs I set up, but we did do some pretty good damage overall. Okay, that's fine. So, how should we do this? I'm thinking we'll definitely run. Grab these. Boba can grab these. Um, this is definitely dangerous. This is a dangerous game to play here. We'll see what happens. So we're at about 50% HP. Honestly, again, ideally he supers these guys. And then we're safe. Got a little dangerous there. This is turn four, yeah. See, because I guess that's the only thing with um, Gogeta here is that he makes... Like, in terms of this fight, since Gogeta is obviously a pretty good damage dealer, he's going to make you really get through this fight very quick. I think 17 lives, but Boma, I'm not actually sure. She's just taking double digits. I think 17 lives with his full reduction. Against Fusions of Master, because he has his full reduction, he's fully built up. I'm pretty sure he would live this. I guess we're seeing here. He should be able to. Right? Yeah. Nope, I'm a liar. Dance! Okay, let's hop back in. And I, I was thinking about not doing this entire run, but I decided against that. So we're just going to go ahead and go in like this again, right? Um, We'll grab this with you, and then God Goku right here. I got scared. Six orbs. <laughs> I got scared that we weren't going to get the six orbs right there. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. Okay. Now, 17 is not in the first rotation. The good thing about that is that we will be able to fall under the HP threshold. So, 17 will literally not take any damage. That's good. And then, with how the rotations played out now this time, I guess the only issue is that we don't have the Rainbow Vegito that we did last time. But, we might not... Do as much damage because god goku here is in this first turn but there's no bomo support anymore right so the thing with god goku is that he will like how to explain it? when it's turn well no nah, actually when it's turn four god goku will be there huh because we're floating him off now hmm the normal right there actually helps out rather than the super attack that does obviously less damage to this guy i might just skip the next rotation though and then we'll just come back to this rotation specifically, just so we can see what this one is doing. Okay, the five additional didn't come in clutch, which again kind of shows you that you don't really need to add too much additional to this Gogeta Blue, because he already just has a very good shot at getting the additional super anyways. Thank you, God Goku, for the dodge. That's very nice to see. And yeah, we'll just skip God Goku as well. Let's just we'll go to the next rotation uh, when we have these two together again, and we'll see how things go. So we took some damage last turn, uh, <laughs> but we should be okay. Let's see. We'll grab. Me heal warmth Vegito. So I'm actually going to grab this single orb. We'll grab the, wait, how did I do this? If I grab this 
That should drop the physical horse. No, it didn't. No, it dropped it the wrong way. Oh, well, that's fine. We've got all those EGO orbs next turn. Surely we're not going to get instantly super attacks. Fine, see, we're fine. See, we're a okay. Gogeta eats a little bit of damage. 17 eats this for double digits. We're just fine. Post super attack. Yeah, we'd actually be just fine, though. Especially with 17 support. It's, we're a little bit in the danger zone, you could say. But I don't think we're going to kill this turn. So that's the good thing. That means we'll get turn 5 transformation. That's what you really want. You want to get the rotation with Goku and... Like, you want to get the Gogeta and Vegeta rotation on that turn 5. And then you'll be good to go. I might put God Goku in slot 1 next turn. Is what I'm thinking here. Yeah, with God Goku in slot 1 actually will work out pretty nicely. 9.4 mil. Yeah, that's what the Bulma support, right? 55% uh, what was I going to say? With the Bulma support. Okay, I like that. It's super effective as well. I was actually going to say super effective, and I couldn't think of what I was going to say. <laughs> you know, sometimes when, when I'm just recording, I just forget things. No! Ah! <laughs> I hate damage. 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 Damage sucks. Damage just sucks. Damage sucks. Damage sucks. Why did you do that? You didn't have to. Show off. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I can, I can get... Oh! So. God, Goku has 60%. This is a 55% Goku Vegeta. Do I trust God, Goku over them? I think I have to trust the dodge. To be honest. I might have to just trust the dodge. With God, Goku. The 60% dodge. Plus... He also does have hidden potential to dodge. And the only issue, if he doesn't dodge some of these normals, uh, he takes a lot. Like, a lot. Like, like, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Please, God Goku, save Soul Society. God Goku! No! Okay. Huh. The dangerous part is gone. The we're, we're past the danger zone. Not really, no. Because if, if he hits him with the super, we're dead. God, Goku. Okay, no, it's fine. We, we, that, that, that one dodge is the one dodge that's not going to happen. So now we're going to dodge every attack from here. After this, right? There's going to be every single attack dodged. Everything is going to be dodged right here. Watch. That's fine. That's fine. He's going to dodge a super. What, what's important is that he dodges the super attack. That's what he has to dodge. The super. The super. The super. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ah, <sighs> we're good. Oh, that was scary. Oh, just oh, wiping my wiping my sweat on my face. Oh goodness. Oh, that was in the bag the whole time though. Yeah, easy W, easy victory, easy victory. What can I say? What could I say? That was pretty sick. Clearly, <laughs> there's there's no issue. There's, there's no issue at all. <laughs> We're just fine. Now we kill next turn. Like, he's going to get demolished. He ain't living. He's done. He's done. And we get this. Uh, we don't get future ones. I mean, I lied. I, I'm also a liar, if you guys weren't aware. Uh, do I have the animations on? No. I think this time we put to skip the animations. That's nah, fine. But eh, I kind of. I don't care. I'm going to play him again. All right, now we should just win here. I'm thinking, yeah, especially with the heal. We're really like, this is just a W. Like we're not losing here at all. 
fat manger W alerts. Um, yeah, I can see. Yeah, okay. And then we'll grab this with you. Guaranteed dodge, Vegito. Yep. Boop. 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 Guess what? Nothing. Ha 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 ha. 9.9 .9 mil. Same as last time. Okay. That's fine. So now he's going to be giving the 50% defense to the rest of the rotation. So that's cool. I like that little 50% defense support right there. Looking pretty spicy. Looking pretty spicy. I need a second dupe in this guy now. I really want a second dupe in this character. Like really badly. A second dupe would be so sick and so raw. Um, I, I love using Vegito. I don't care, man. People are like, the condition so hard. Well, look at this. Double rotation of goats. Yeah, Vegito. Look at you go. Ooh super effective against all types i think this is is this last one or has it got one more in it you got one more in you vegito you got one more in you <laughs> ah i bet he was rainbowed that'd be crazy all right i think that was the last one though for sure so how much damage was that that was 40.6 million total attack stat super effective then we got gogeta here 13.6 mil looking pretty spicy himself look at that gogeta blue i want you to get your additional too get your get get all the additionals right obviously you have the two guaranteed so that should be pretty sick to see yeah this this is a fun rotation dude this is so fun just like the blue fusions together my goats and then you just heal back to full hp <laughs> like how stupid is that this is stupid just dumb all right one more no oh that would have been another super but um yeah he they would have actually been about a good would have been like at what 44 mil with uh the extra super but that's fine all right and then future gone with the additionals future gone should be able to finish the job here is what i'm thinking yeah everything should be good here with future go on because you got the guaranteed additional super here nice 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 so there we go that is the vegito and gogeta blue rotation in the golden freezer fight and the fusions of monster fight which i would probably say the fusions of monster fight is still the hardest fight in the game to me um i i was considering about making a tier list for the hardest fights right now but i feel like i might wait still until after the anniversary ends because we're definitely going to get more difficult content right and i don't want to like overstep or anything so let me know what you guys are thinking thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time